You know that music, Bold and the Beautiful, has been on our screen since 1987. It is celebrating its 7,000th episode this Thursday. That's tomorrow on Channel 10. Catherine Kelly Lang, of course, is Brooke, and she joins us today. Hello. Hello. Good to see so you happy again. to be here. That makes me sound ancient when you say Not at like all. 7,000 episodes 28 years <laughs> later. It's like, wow. It just seems like a lifetime. And you've been pretty much in every one of those episodes. Yeah, yeah, from day one. Mm-hmm. Did you have any sense on day one when you read the first script that, that it would still be going? No, but we all knew that it was something special. We all really felt like we were a part of something magical and something that was going to be amazing, and, and it turned out to be this world wor- worldwide success. I'm still trying to wake up. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember your first line? Um, gosh, that's a good question. I think my first scene was when I barge into the door of my house and I'm screaming and crying and just really upset and my brother comes to my rescue. Storm! Yes, Storm! And (laughs) I had almost been raped. So that was the very first episode, yeah. And it went from there. I mean, it's not always outlandish. I remember bawling my eyes out when you were working as a scientist (laughs) and (laughs) you discovered that your friend Caroline, who was Brooke's first wife, had cancer. I remember crying when she died yeah. so there have been the highs and the lows yeah. what are some of the more outlandish storylines that you've looked back on and thought well that was hilarious well it started with you know Brooke has been with uh, a few men and uh, but it's just all from the same I, I family I just thought okay I'm in trouble now once I was with the father mm. first the Ridge who mm-hmm. I had fallen in love with then I ended up with his father mm-hmm. and then I left and went back with Ridge and then went uh, we broke up and then went to his brother. So oh. I just, when I started going around the family, I thought, okay, here it goes. <laughs> this it's a is good what gene my pool. character's going to be. Yeah. Um, but look at you now, you've got your own range of caftans. Well, actually, we're doing Kelly's Closet. Kelly's is the, Closet. Is the, the caftan range here that we're doing for TVSN for home shopping. So we do a new launch every time we come with new caftans. So that's designed specifically for. TVSN, and then we have Catherine Kelly Lang Caftans, which is the online store, and then we have Catherine's Closet, which is a new line for the modern woman. So that's only in Italy right now. It's made in Italy, so we'll see if we oh, start taking it then. to different areas. Yes. Do, do you sit at home and run things up on your Husqvarna? <laughs> Husqvarna? No, you look like a fat. Husqvarna. You'd have a fat. That's the name. That's always the name of my sewing favorite machine. sewing machine, only because oh. it's got such an interesting name, the Husqvarna. You know what? I used to sew on my grandmother's old sewing machine. It was very simple, very basic, but it was the best sewing machine ever. It was when they were made out of big, like steel and yes, really hard. Yes, it was hardy, probably an old Singer sewing yes, machine. It was an old Singer. Yes, yeah. it was the best sewing machine. My I wife- actually don't like the ones now because there's too many buttons, there's too many knobs, there's too many things yeah. you can do. My wife's got one, but it, and it gives her mild electric shocks. Does it? Mm. Is that oh. what she likes? It. Well, no, no, I've been just encouraging her to keep <laughs> using it. <laughs> that's a, that's a that's skill that many women have lost now. There was a time when all our mothers could sew clothes. I can't even sew buttons on things anymore. I guess we've all learned to outsource, yeah, but gone easy. are the days. But <laughs> do they make a caftan for a man that's other size of Demis Roussos? You know, it seems like big fat guys. People you gotta want be that. Men are asking for that. Really? But, but skinny guys? Not the Steven Seagal I think caftan. More the skinny guys. I think the more fashionable skinny guys want, want caftans. And right. I, I get a lot of requests for that, so I'm kind of working on it. We so can really? Get a few samples. Like a Jesus range? Yes, it sort of has that feeling and that Doesn't vibe, but very, you know. Do you wear pants hippie, under it? It'd be kind of bohemian. Bohemi- oh, I like kind of it. Thing. A man or? A man. <laughs> you I think a man would wear pants. <laughs> Most <laughs> women do too. Well, you, you, or at I mean, least your you underpants. Know, but the ones I make can be worn as a dress and, and as a top, so. Right. Yeah. Mm. Are you thinking of it, Jonesy? So you can be like nude underneath. We would oh, know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, not the sheer ones, because there's no. some very sheer ones. So you share, slip what you or share bathing them? suit. Oh, sheer. <laughs> sheer. Yeah, you, you can there's share one, them you, too. You can make a cap down and me and Amanda could wear it. Yeah, like a giant That's summer right. snuggie. And I'll say, They're Amanda, that big, right? You both are you them. wearing underwear, Amanda? What's that? And I'll say, what are you talking about? I'm over here. <laughs> uh, Bold and the Beautiful, 7,000th episode. This is a special time yes. tomorrow, 3.30 on Channel 10. This is a retrospective of the highs and the lows. It's mm. going to be an amazing show. And check out Catherine's collection of caftans from her fashion brand Kelly's Closet available through TVSNM? Yes. yes. Today I'll be on the show at TVSN live 12.30 and 5.30 today so tune in. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Good to see you guys.